Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 23rd day of July 2023. And our topic for today is, God Still Speaks to His People, Part 1. Let us pray. Our dear Father and our God, we worship and we bless your name. We are grateful for yet bringing us into another brand new day. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for fighting for us battles that we do not even see. Thank you for sound health. Thank you for the privilege to appear before you one more time to receive of your word. We ask, O oh Lord, that as we seek your face, you would reveal yourself to us. Help us that your words would nourish us today. As you speak to us, we ask that you would give us hearing ears and obedient hearts. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 5. 1 Kings 3, verse 5 reads, in Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 5. Our text for today is from the book of Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to 4. Genesis 12 verse 1 to 4 reads, Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed, as the Lord had spoken unto him. And Lot went with him. And Abraham was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 to 4. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our topic for today once more is God still speaks to his people, part 1. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that God still speaks to this day. But unfortunately, many people do not hear him because they are too busy with the affairs of life. The painful thing is that people do not know what they are missing by not listening to their maker. In today's text, we read about Abraham's encounter with the Almighty God. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1 reads, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. There are some lessons we can learn from this singular encounter that changed Abraham's life. 1. God discovered the love and sincerity of Abraham, so he revealed himself to him. This love for God was demonstrated in his positive and prompt response to God's command to leave his father's house. Another lesson is that the dialogue between God and Abraham did not contain commands only. It was backed by eternal blessings. The Bible says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 Abraham became the father of faith because the word of God penetrated his heart. In the scripture from where we took the memory verse, we read of the encounter of Solomon with the Almighty God. During that divine encounter, God gave Solomon a blank check, and this is a typical privilege enjoyed by those who have such dialogues with God. 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 5 reads, In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. To be genuine children of God, we must surrender completely to all his commandments. This is where many people often miss it. They are not ready to obey God fully. They want freedom from his commandments. They want to take over the affairs of this life without any recourse to God Almighty. I encourage you to give your life to Jesus Christ today. 
seek his face without ceasing, not just what he has to give, and you will receive great revelations from him that will transform your life for good. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today is God still speaks to his people, part 1. One of my favorite scriptures in Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 reads, And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left. Our topic today is reassuring us amidst the confusion and the chaos in today's world that God still speaks to his people. We live in a world where people prioritize public opinions and the voice of their own desires. In today's study, we learn that you can actually be led by God's voice. We can actually receive instructions and guidance on steps to take per time per season. This is not old school, it is divine guidance. In our study today, our Father and the Lord tells us that many people do not hear God because they are too busy with the affairs of life. So many of us are trying to meet up with the daily demands for the day. Some are doing two, three jobs just to be able to make ends meet. And in the midst of all this, we lose touch of the voice of God. The consequence is just like our Father and the Lord tells us in today's study, that many people become ignorant of what they miss as a result of this. It is important to note that no matter how fast you are going, if you are moving in the wrong direction, you would be moving on a fast lane in the wrong direction. However, being on God's own lane, no matter how slow the journey may seem, you can be double sure that you are in his intended will for you no matter the storm of chaos or turbulence that blows. In today's study, our Father and the Lord highlights our father Abraham's obedience to God's instructions and then he tells us the benefits that followed too. We see for example, God's instruction to Abraham to leave his father's house to a land that he would show him. That must have been quite a tough thing to do. You can imagine God's instruction telling you now to just walk down the street and keep going until he tells you to stop. You can imagine how it would feel when you are asked where you are heading to and you have no definite answer, only that you are following his instructions to you. Our father Abraham had no idea where he was headed to, but he was able to hold on to the voice of God that he heard. In today's study, our Father and the Lord describes this obedience as positive and prompt. Taking a closer look at our text for today, you would see that after the instruction came to our father Abraham in verse 1, the following verses followed with blessings. And this leads us to the fact that there are always benefits for obedience to God's voice. Hallelujah! We see the same thing play out also. When God instructed him to sacrifice his son Isaac, he also demonstrated positive and prompt response to God's instruction. I want to believe his son Isaac was also learning fast because scripture records no account of his struggle with his father when he was asked to lie on the altar. Even in the face of the known consequences and the possible ridicule that could follow their actions, they chose obedience to his voice. In our study today, our Father and the Lord makes us understand that those who dialogue with God enjoy special benefits, just like we see in the account of Solomon in his encounter with God. We are told in our study today that to be genuine children of God, we must surrender completely to all of God's commandments. We are told to obey Him fully. God does not accept partial obedience. He wants us to obey Him fully. He wants us to seek Him and to love on him genuinely. When we do this, we would hear his voice and also see his hand at work in our lives. Remember that when God first spoke to Samuel, his response was, Speak, Lord, for thy servant hear it. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and we'll be praying, we'll say, Father, please speak to me today and always in Jesus' name. Ask the Lord today for his voice that his voice would speak to us concerning various things that we are trusting him for, that his voice would lead and direct us, his voice would help us along the way in this journey of life. Ask him just like we read earlier, that we would hear his voice leading us, telling us this is the way, walk in it, in the name of Jesus. Also, we would be asking the Lord, would say, Father, 
Please create in my heart genuine and sincere love for you in the name of Jesus. Grant me the grace for obedience. Grant to me a heart that is swift and positive in response to you. Grant to me a heart that seeks to please you. Grant to me a heart that would hold your instructions to heart. In the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that the grace to trust Him, the grace to trust His instructions even when we do not understand them, let it be made available to us. Ask Him to please take away from our hearts every desire to be selective in our obedience to Him. Let it be done away with in our hearts and in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our blessed Redeemer, we thank you for such awesome word that you have brought our way today. Thank you because you still speak. And thank you because you would yet speak to us and we would follow in obedience. We ask that you would fill our hearts with love and desire for you. Help us to seek you above every other thing. Thank you, our gracious Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Isaiah chapter 32 down to chapter 34. We are also grateful and we want to thank you for joining us today again. We believe you have been blessed. If you love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 3 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing ancient words. Have an awesome time today in God's presence. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now. Thank you.
I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.